the algae is exposed to light and the CO2, driving the photosynthesis of converting uh, energy and uh, this photon energy and CO2 into biomass. Uh, algae is pumped through the system, constantly bombarded with light and supplied with CO2, producing biomass and oxygen. When you look at a tree, they have to build a stem, they have to build all this structure, and then they build the leaf, which do all the photosynthesis. The algae cut away all of that. The algae is just one cell that has to do all the photosynthesis itself. There's no need for structure, there's no need for all the other stuff. It just grows. We need to make it easy for decision makers with a CO2 challenge to remove their, uh, their CO2 from their process. And, uh, and thus, we are applying the, uh, the ways of nature, you know, algae and photosynthesis, to, uh, to, uh, to solve one of the biggest challenges of our time. You know, how can you remove CO2 uh, without making it a burdensome process for the owners of the CO2? there's a big potential in biogas, especially with the current uh, geopolitical uh, crisis. Uh, here in Europe, we need to produce more uh, gas, more green gas. And every time that you uh, increase the capacity in uh, biogas, you would also have more CO2 being emitted from the processes. This is sort of where we come into the picture, right? Because now you can scale the entire biogas sector and adding this as a technology to, uh, to sort of get rid of that CO2. The biggest challenge right now is that our raw materials are increasing heavily price-wise, but, but basically everything is increasing, energy, uh, transportation, uh, packaging materials and so on, but, uh, but the increases uh, in the raw materials is, is the biggest concern of ours. We source our natural oil from all over the world. So it's transported here to us in uh, Wissenberg in Denmark and it leaves quite a big carbon footprint. sunlight you can build up a huge amount of biomass uh, with uh, plastic tubes together with some nutri nutrition. We have been working for more than 10 years for developing green solutions and green technology 
One of them is uh, how you can produce microalgae. And we use microalgae as a, a very nice production organism for producing proteins or fats. And microalgae is a very uh, exciting organism because it takes huge amount of carbon dioxide. And at the same time, you can produce proteins.